you guys. I have a beautiful collaboration today with someone you might recognize. That's right, it's Kathleen with Cause Creations. I'm so excited to have her on my channel today. If you haven't checked out her YouTube channel by some crazy uh, mishap, that Cause Creations is where you will find her beautiful, beautiful art. Her art is so serene, um, very lovely. I find it extremely elegant and fun, just like her personality. Look at that, isn't that gorgeous? And if so, if you have to visit Cause Creations, uh, the link is in the description box. Now, we decided on a 16 by 20 canvas for our collab. Her colors are champagne, green, gold, and copper, and a mixture of these two blacks black 3.0 and the artist loft flow acrylics. I also used similar colors uh, for mine. But you know, of course, I have to, I can never stick to a recipe. <laughs> so I had to use what I had too. So Kathleen has a really cool way of painting her backgrounds. She floods her canvas with a flood coat. And um, I've always loved the way this looks just absolutely perfect. And you can see she floods it and then puts a something to tilt one side and just slowly allows the paint to run down over the edge. So what you get is just that lovely, beautiful, perfect coat. I used copper and she wanted to use green and she didn't say what kind, so of course I had to mix like five custom shades of green in every shade from the yellow to the dark. So that's what I did. And then I have black, which is Artist Loft, and I have champagne. I didn't have very much of that, so I mixed a little gold just to be on the safe side that I had enough paint for my 16 by 20 canvas. And this is how I did the first part of the flood coat. Just basically put some paint on there. I've been very careful not to use too much paint these days. <laughs> And then I put a little copper on there and kind of mix those two together. Now let's see what Kathleen is up to. Look at her flood coat and look how gorgeous. It's like a mirror. It's glass-like. So perfect. And then she adds her copper, gold, and green gold. Now, if you want full tutorials, you have to check out Cause Creations. She does full tutorials on her paintings. She has a really fun and bubbly personality. She's a smart lady and um, I really have enjoyed. I've worked with her on a professional level uh, before and she's just really a joy. I love her artwork and um, She's just fun to watch. How fun. She's a very controlled painter. You can see she takes a lot of care with every stroke. And every swipe seems extremely um, thoughtful. With a lot of care in each stroke. Very methodical, very relaxing to watch too, actually. And I'll show you what I was up to. I started doing more of like a traditional swipe here, just adding the colors in lines across the canvas. And here comes all of these custom green colors. I made these greens with various other greens that I had and adding yellows and blues uh, to different degrees to get these colors. And that 
dark hunter green is really pretty. Just barely, barely had enough paint for this canvas, but I'm getting pretty good at knowing how much paint to mix up. And then I just popped in some white here and there. Now, I realize my champagne coat is a little bare, so right at the top. So that's where I decide I'm just going to add a little gold and hope that it looks okay. And then I start my swipe. This is a damp paper towel, you guys. Just run it very carefully across the top. You can see how our styles are different. It's fun to watch the two of us working side by side. Let's check in on the no bra zone, which is one of the cutest things I've ever heard. But hey, I feel her. I don't wear mine either when I'm painting. Why? We should be comfortable. Just more of that gorgeous copper. I was worried, you know, copper is more red and then they're green, red and green together usually make a yucky brown color, but there's something about these two metallics that she makes work in the most beautiful way. It's a long, elegant swipe right there. So deliberate and methodical. No wonder she calls it her happy place. And playing with paints is another thing that Kathleen always says, and I, I think about that. Uh, dip, 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 dip. <laughs> it is like playing. It's fun. And painting should be fun. Dip, 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 dip. Now she adds depth to it by using that black. She brings in some of that depth there. So back to my painting here, I go back to my swipe. I want to swipe the other side. You can see how Kathleen's were very um, specific. I'm more trying to get a variation. Get a different lines going in all different directions. You can see it's a little more whimsical, maybe. I hadn't painted in a long time when I painted this, maybe 10 or 12 days, so I also was just having fun. It was just fun to do this. And now we both go in for embellishments here. Of course, I pull out my balloon for balloon rolls, and Kathleen brings a line of black all the way through the center of that copper and gently drags her paper towel through it. I love those little swipes she does, it, all, it makes it look like a feather. Sometimes my balloon rolls will look like feathers, too. I'm adding a white satin enamel because the pearl white paint that I used, it wasn't quite holding up, so that satin enamel white can cut through any color. <laughs> and I like it for balloon rolls for that reason, um, if I'm adding it on top. Now, if I'm adding it in a painting, it can actually be more difficult to make balloon rolls come out with definition because it eats up other colors. But These balloon rolls were going to turn out pretty good because there's not very much paint on the canvas. The paint's not very thick. And um, I felt pretty confident that they were going to turn out okay. I hope you guys enjoy getting to see the two of us side by side and it's not too confusing.
It's fun to edit videos like this, and I know I complain about the time it takes to edit, but honestly, it's really fun and it's a challenge too. A lot of um, thought had to go into a video like this. Basically, I'm editing two videos at once. And, um, I hope it's pleasant for the viewer. You guys can tell me in the comments below what you think. And now she's just adding more of her beautiful embellishments. Don't forget to visit Kathleen with Cause Creations on all social media. She's on Instagram, Facebook, her YouTube channel, delicious artwork, full tutorials. Fun personality, all in the no bra zone. That's Kathleen. I love her beautiful painting. Here's a little close up. Isn't that pretty? Yay! Just gorgeous. And she says, Bye, guys. You guys can check out her channel for her version of our collaboration. I just love her beautiful painting. Thank you, Kathleen, so much for joining me. Now, there's mine. I, I want to finish this painting by doing a few more swipes. Um, the swipes had gotten a little wonky, and I just wanted a little more interest, too, in the black part. So see, I'm using the wet swipe towel to deposit more green. And then I go back with a clean one and pull some of that black through it again. I'm just creating layers that creates depth. And one final swipe right there. And now we'll do a little close up for you. It's crazy, we both use the same colors and just such different results as the paint process gets filtered through different artists. Thank you so much for all that you guys do. If you want to support this channel, there's ways that you can, like my tip jar. And there's an Amazon shop that a lot of you are shopping in, and I appreciate you so much. You can subscribe and hit the bell, which helps bring more art videos to you. Shop for prints and paintings at heathermaderart.com. But you guys, tomorrow is my live auction. Tomorrow, you guys, please don't miss it. Sunday. May 17th at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, and I can't wait to see you there on my channel. And thank you so much, Kaz, Kathleen, for joining me today. You all have a very blessed day. Don't forget to subscribe and hit all notifications so I can make more art videos just for you.